It's a huge event for Australia's social set. The Melbourne Cup brings out the finest in fashion as stars dress up for the jewel in the crown of the spring racing carnival. Chris Hemsworth's wife Elsa looks stunning in a neon dress mixing with our fashionable foreign minister. It's such a fashion event and um, I, I see everybody so beautiful and dress up. Jennifer Hawkins stole the show, breaking with tradition to wear a pants suit. I think it's, it's okay if it's a classic look and it's kind of 1970s. My mum loved this pantsuit. She's like, it reminds me back, you know, when she used to wear them. Kate Waterhouse divided the critics with her colourful outfit. Well, Cup's all about having a little bit of fun, so I went the bright outfit today and I'm wearing Gucci and a hat maker headpiece. Lots of pearls and frills, so if you can't do a Cup day, when can you do it? And Beck Hewitt enjoyed her return to the Aussie spotlight. Everything is good, yes, yeah, settled into life here in Melbourne. The kids are happy in school, got lots of activities going on uh, but it's just nice to be out and about and not picking up toys and in my cleaning attire at home. Last year's cup winner Michelle Payne was all frocked up this time around and even Australia's rarely seen richest woman Gina Reinhart made an appearance. The gents scrubbed up nicely too. James your first Melbourne Cup experience what's it been like? Really exciting um, I've done a couple of derby days and obviously they're in the black and white so it's pretty exciting this morning to throw a bit of colour on and uh, Rose has got the red dress so yeah it's exciting. Barry Humphreys looked dapper in a grey top hat and Rob Mills was hard to miss in this jacket covered in Melbourne Cup pins in support of the Starlight Foundation. The luxury marquees in the birdcage were at their best. The finest food and champagne on hand, even a pool with dancers. Basketball star Liz Cambridge made her DJ debut on the decks in the Lavazza marquee, while some of our Olympic and Paralympic champions were there showing off their gold medals. We haven't seen these guys for about uh, six weeks now, so it's a bit of a reunion for us. We've got a lot of catching up to do. But the other reason they're all here, what's that? Oh, the race that stops the nation. Do you have a tip for the big race? No, I've just put two bets on, so I just go off kind of colours and names and all that jazz. That's the way There's to no do it. no educated guess here. For modern pentathlon gold medalist Chloe Esposito, the choice of who to back was easy. There's a horse called pentathlon, so I will definitely be backing that one. Fingers crossed. Back a winner, Brett. Oh, Eddie, this has been nuts. Cash everywhere. I don't know what you're lying. No, I haven't had a shock of that. Empty pockets, <laughs> as shame, always. Mate. What a shame. Whether you back the winner or not, there's no denying the fashion at Flemington is just as exciting. And it wasn't just the stars grabbing attention. This show-stopping gown was made out of 10,000 tab tickets.